There are lots of different ways to use effects in Reason. One of the main ways you'll end up using them is as insert effects. Insert effects are so called because they're inserted between an instrument module or an audio track module and the mixer. What they do is process the dry, unaffected sound from the sequencer or from the instrument itself. As a result, insert effects are really useful because they can be changed, moved, or otherwise edited at any point after recording. Insert effects are especially useful because they remain virtual at all times. That means that if you've recorded some guitar, for example, and you're using guitar insert effects to process the sound, the actual sound you've recorded is dry. The effect is actually applied in real time between the sequencer and the mixer. That means that you can change, edit, remove, or add to the insert effect chain at any point. Any of the effects in Reason can be used as inserts, and you'll probably end up using quite a few of these. These ones down the bottom here are Reason's oldest effect modules. If I move up the list a little bit, you'll see the M-Class modules, guitar and bass amps, and some weirder stuff at the top. Creating insert effects is really easy. Let's say I have a drum machine here. If I want to use an insert effect on it, let's say I might want to put a reverb on it, I can just go to the effects section, I can find a reverb unit, and I can drag it underneath the module here. If I press the tab key, you can see that the main audio outputs of this module have been routed to the audio inputs of the effect unit, and then the effect unit's outputs have been routed back up to the mix channel and on into the mixer. I could keep going. So for example, I could pick something else. I could pick a Scream 4, drag that here, and you can see that that's automatically chained into the signal chain as well. So creating insert effects is really easy. Let's say I have an audio track module here which might have some singing in it or some guitar playing or some drums. I can apply insert effects to that in exactly the same way. In my effects menu, I can pick any of the effects, guitar amp for example, and I can drop that here. When I do that, you can see that the audio track insert section opens. You can show or hide this insert effects section in any audio track module. You can also manage inserts in the mixer. If I choose to see the mixer, Here's my audio track, and if you go up to the effects section here, you'll see there's an edit inserts button, and also a means for navigating straight to the browser here, on the left. You can also manage inserts in the mixer. If I go to the insert section here, you can see there's an edit inserts button, and if I press that it will leap me back to the rack, which is currently spun around, I'll spin it the right way around. That will take me to the insert section for that audio track module. If I look in the factory sound bank, inside the all effect patches folder, I can find various types of insert effects chain preset here for me. So let's say I wanted to apply some kind of effect chain. I'll expand that so I can see what it is. Multiband compressor onto that channel there. I can just drag and drop that preset onto the module itself and you can see it gains this circle which means that preset will be applied. If I do that, there's my complicated preset multiband compressor. If I scroll back down, you can see that preset has been applied. And because that preset's already been created, some of these quick controls have already been mapped to these parameters here. If I show the programmer section in the audio track module, you'll see here that just like with the combinator and some other modules, I'm able to make assignments for some of the parameters inside these modules. I can map them directly to these quick controls. And like with the Combinator, you can map more than one device's parameters to more than one of these controls. So the great thing about insert effects is that you can load up as many of them as you want, you can record using them although they're not glued onto the sound, and you can change them at any point during working on a project.